my name is Caitlin and I do random fashion videos on the internet that have no particular rhyme or reason. Today is another one of those family history things that when you're bored sitting in your house, you come up with. This picture is one that I discovered I think maybe two years ago and I held on to because I just think it's fabulous. It's a Polaroid of my great-grandmother surrounded by all her sisters. I think at a wedding, I think in 1975. The date on the back says July 12th, 1975. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that's accurate. My great-grandma's name was Adwilda. Very, very cool name. I don't remember what the rest of her sisters' names were, but they were all French Canadian. Apparently they were all really fun ladies. I heard from my mom that they may have actually made all of these dresses themselves because they all liked to sew and make their own clothing, which is an art that I think is largely lost to my generation, at least. The thing that struck me about this picture is that these women could basically just be in a girl band. I mean, when you look at this photo, this is exactly how girl bands are styled. It's sort of the same style, but in a different format for each one. You sort of copy and paste and you change a couple aesthetic items in the ensemble. And I just think it's hilarious. I've created this really weird storyline in my head where um, these ladies who are my great-grandmother and great-great-aunts? In my head, they're a band of secret agents that are old ladies, but they solve crimes together because no one suspects them of being able to solve crimes. I have a million weird storylines in my head associated with this photo. So I figured today, I don't think that they should be having all the fun. I mean, well, I mean, they're, they're all dead now. What I basically mean is that I want to join this wonderful kick-ass old lady posse. I want to join. I want in. I'm going to dress up like them and photoshop myself into the picture because why can't I? You're not gonna stop me. I mean there's no one here to stop me. Maybe that's the problem. So the first thing I had to do was find kind of a corsage to put on my shoulder so we have some irises in our yard that I thought would be good but you know I just had to avoid neighbors thinking I was doing something weird hi and we were good to go this is a floral maxi gorgeous balloon sleeve 70s vintage dress that I think will fit in quite well I have an old string of pearls. I don't even know where I got them. I think it might be a family set. I don't know, but they're very, very hard to put on. Next up, I noticed that my grandma and her sisters wore pretty plain lipstick, so here we are. The look is not complete without some nice horn-rimmed purple glasses and a pair of slide-on purple mules to bring everything together. Welcome to the world's largest struggle. I had to figure out how to get this beautiful purple iris onto my dress without ruining the dress or the flowers, which was a bit of an ordeal. What am I gonna stick these on with? I decided to go with this vintage brooch, which I tried, and getting the actual setup for this was very confusing. As you can see, I really didn't know how I was going to do it, and, well... Ow! Oh! Ow! <gasps> okay, if I'm very careful and don't move it, I think it'll be fine. <sighs> Photoshop. With that, I was pretty much ready to rock as a member of the old ladies vintage floral detective agency. I don't know.
Next step was just simply going into Canva and doing some editing. So I think the easiest part of this was to isolate myself and the flower, but I think the more complicated bit was trying to get the shading right so that I actually looked like I was there and a part of the picture because the picture itself is a little bit washed out. So I had to do some color correction there too. Was this a success? I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of pleased with how the results came out. And you know what? It's not a bad way to spend a Saturday. I don't have an adult photo of me with my great grandmother because I think she passed away when I was maybe six. So <laughs> I didn't get to interact with her that much. So I think it's nice to be uh, one of the ladies in all of our 70s floral glory. I don't know, I'm kinda digging it. If you like this weird video, don't forget to subscribe for more weird videos like this. And if you didn't like this weird video, subscribe anyway, because it might be different next time. Bye. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> they may think we're at a wedding, but we're really here to solve who buried the body in that closet. The floral girls out for another adventure. Do, 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 do. Why does this bother you so much? Lucy. Lucy. This is a lot.